guys welcome back to my channel novice nurse here aka pierre and i will be here talking to you about my sec my fourth week of medical assistant classes and my second week of school <sighs> y'all so my medical assistant classes are good i've gotten three tests so far in the class i've gotten 100 percent on all three so yay me um we learned phlebotomy starting last week we have to get te uh, 26 successful sticks um it can be it just has to be drawing of blood making sure blood is being drawn um we this week we learned about butterflies how to do a butterfly i haven't done a butterfly on a real person yet just on the dummy so i'll have to do that probably next week um we've been learning uh, capillary blood draws how to um you know find out somebody's diet uh, uh blood sugar glucose uh, levels um a lot of vocabulary um and all that i think next week and going the week after we're going to be learning ekg so which is like the heart um uh monitor detects you know your heart waves and your heart movements and we'll relearn that next week <laughs> so the ekg which is actually now called an ecg did you know that the reason why it's now called an ecg is because it stands for i think electro something cardio something gram something which don't nobody i mean i'm pretty sure nurses and doctors know the actual full word but come on nobody uses the full word ever uh so it that's basically what it stands for which just means like it's a measurement a, a electric measurement of the heart that's really what it means um but cardio is spelled with a c so why is it ekg you know what i mean but it's because our teacher told us um in whatever country i think it might have been france or some latin country the word for heart starts with a k um so because of that and that's where it was founded or whatever that's why it's called an ekg but it's in english it's cardio c-a-r-d-i-o so they changed the um format to ecg but everyone still calls it ekg so anyway so this week we've been doing um oh i'm not wearing my scripts because i took them off when i got home because it, I, I just want to get out of them when i get home because they're so constrict they're not tight but they're form fitting and they're not like you can't really stretch them out too much so when you get home you want to take it off um but yeah this week has been a good week like doing a lot of like lab work which is fun it's always, always makes class go by super fast class is like five hours long it doesn't even feel like it that long because it feels like it's like two hours long because you, it goes by so fast um the girls in my class are all really nice we had two new three new girls come in last week uh that were new because every two weeks we add on new people uh, and they have a different they kind of just come in where we're at and then when we leave they kind of recycle it if that makes sense like the what, we're, what the what is being learned so everyone like we know about like how to do vital signs they don't know that yet right so we did vital signs on them and they had no idea what we were doing but because we already did it two weeks prior they'll learn that at the end of their module if that makes sense so yeah so yeah we did a lot of lab work a lot of that um i had my second week of classes this week i still haven't had um my nutrition class yet because of the holiday last this week and because my school actually started on a wednesday which i don't know why so last week i didn't have nutrition because it was on a, my classes on a monday this week i didn't have nutrition because my class was on a monday and it was labor day and then we have it this coming monday coming up so she gave us our homework and told us what is due on monday it was read chapter one and two and when i read it i was like oh girl what these are long as i don't know what it's like these it's a textbook so you're reading like here 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 flip here it's just a lot of reading and i was just like okay i thought i was gonna be able to read it all in one night no i read chapter one and i felt asleep i've got so overwhelmed with chapter one no that wasn't that wasn't nutrition i had to walk away from it though i i about midway i was like all right i need to like come back to this because this is a lot of information but so i couldn't read chapter two it was just too much so i was like i'll read it later it's not even due to like the following week anyway so i'm gonna read that this weekend um my ma my medical assistant class actually we have a test on monday about everything we've been learning about phlebotomy and like test tubes test tube colors you have to know test tube color meetings they all have meanings additives like that are in the test tubes that mix them with blood that give you gives you different certain results you have to know the like order of the test tubes like yeah our they gave us a study guide so i'm gonna say that on sunday <sighs> so yeah today so okay um tuesday i have statistics we uh my st 
statistics teacher is really nice. He's funny. I like him. And I read about chapter one and two and did the homework. The homework, literally, that class homework took me 10 hours. No, I'm not even exaggerating. I woke, okay, so last week on uh, Saturday, this week, past weekend on Saturday, I was like, I'm going to do my stats homework. I'll be done, like, in no time. I started reading that-ish, and I was like, wow, I'm really overwhelmed. Can I do this? Can I take all these classes? Am I killing myself here doing this? Like, am I crazy right now? And I just was like, I need a break. I literally put my book down, fell asleep at like 4 p.m. on Saturday. I did not wake up till 7 a.m. on Sunday because I was just so overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed. There's just so much information. So Sunday, I woke up at 7 o'clock and I was like, let me just get right into it. Let me just go. Around 9 o'clock, my boyfriend was like, oh, just take this stuff. It's called Grinko. It's like a natural herb and it, make, it helps you to focus, which I just took some just now because after this video, I will be studying. Um, so by the time I'm done with this video, I will have kicked in and I can focus. Um, also took GABA. GABA is good for stress. Um, and these are all natural, like, things that, like, GABA is something your body already makes. But if you don't have enough of it, it may cause you to feel really bad anxiety. So if you take it as a supplement, you're anxiety. Like, I don't feel like, I was feeling anxi really anxious, like, an hour ago. And I'm already starting to feel, like, very zen. <laughs> so, even though my dog is bothering me. I had a quiz on Thursday in my stats homework. I mean, in my stats. Oh, I was saying, my stats homework took me 10 hours literally like from se I started at 7 o'clock in the morning I didn't finish till 5 p.m. I was like is this gonna be my stats homework like all the time because I cannot deal like I can't so I was just like wow like I can't even do this so I did it and even though I found out on Tuesday no I found out on Thursday that there was a Tuesday I found out on Tuesday that my the homework isn't mandatory at all it's just to help you with your understanding I was like really but I'm honestly glad I did the homework because we had a quiz on Thursday that I can tell a lot of people in the class was like what oh my god because they didn't do the homework or the readings and I was like oh I got this because I did the homework I know what this is I know how to do this so I think I did well I won't know until my next class but I think I did pretty decent I know I definitely got a high B at least I probably may, I may have I think I got a good I think I did pretty well because I was pretty confident in the, in the test the test was like decently easy for me because I understood the content because I read it and I did the homework so we had to read chapter three uh no sorry we had to read chapter yeah chapter three point one and chapter three point two um and I was like reading it and I was just like what the hell is this so Thursday we took our test and then we also went over chapters three point one a little bit and I was like by the time I got to chapter two, I was like, I don't know what this is. Because stats is a lot of Greek, like Greek letters and understanding what those Greek letters stand for. A lot of graphing, a lot of knowing how to, it's a lot of adding and minusing. Like it's a lot of like regular, multi, like it's a lot of regular math, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, which is super easy. It's just that you have to remember everything. Like you have to know what, mean, like the stuff is easy. Like I feel like I learned this stuff in sixth grade math. Like you learn, remember range, median, mode, those all those things that's pretty much what stats is but it's like more detailed version of it so like breaking down a mean and understanding the difference between this and that, that and the third and whatever about a mean and i'm just like <sighs> learn, learn about variance and the standard deviant of a mean and it's just like uh, it's a lot of information but i think i could do it i just have to I feel like I should do the homework, at least do some of the questions in the homework so I can get an understanding and I'm practicing it. So it's something that I know I'm, I can, I'm doing right. So this morning on my way to my medical assistant class, I um, studied some of my math and I think I got the gist of it, but I'm going to go over it again because I want to make sure I understand it before I move on to the next thing because I do not want to get behind in any of my classes, which leads me into my anatomy and physiology class. So I was able to get the book and everything registered for my lab. Um, I already started doing the lab homework. I actually did it yesterday um, in between my classes because I have like an hour and a half between my stats class and my anatomy physiology lecture class. So I just did my lab homework for that. And um, I did chapters one, two, and I did a quiz because um, we have to have this all done by a certain date. It's not due to the 17th, but I like to just get things done so that just in case I need extra, like for example, with my stats homework, I'm thinking, oh, I could read that tonight. And then I realize, wait, this is a lot of information. All right, I'll just read that on Saturday. I'll read half of this tonight and the other half on Saturday. Like that allows me room. So I'm not like redoing the readings the night before. And then I'm like, wait, I can't read all this tonight. That's not smart. Don't do that. <laughs> Definitely do your homework way in advance so that you can have movement and you don't overwhelm yourself or stress yourself out and 
you don't know anything because you can't possibly learn all that stuff and like by midnight that same night before you go to bed for the next day and then you have a quiz so yeah so I took I did the lecture homework between my classes and I was it's pretty easy because it was about body um body like planes and stuff and like what's in the body the organs like things like I already taught myself this summer with my anatomy physiology no cards so I was like oh my god and I got a hundred percent on my quiz I was like okay <laughs> yeah I was excited I was like okay at least hundred percent like yeah girl so yeah I did really good on the math I mean on the anatomy physiology lecture, uh, lab homework but chapter three is about cells now I did not know anatomy and physiology has some biology and chemistry in it I haven't taken biology since 10th grade. I haven't taken chemistry since 11th grade. I'm 29. I had biology in 2006. I had chemistry in 2007. That was 12, 11 years ago. I don't remember half the stuff. Like some of it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember learning that. Oh yeah, I kind of remember that. Oh yeah, like yeah, cell, oh, neuron, oh neutron, oh proton, okay. Yeah, I kind of remember that stuff, but I don't remember enough to be able to use the information I have to learn the periodic table again. I have to remember what an electron does in a cell and a proton and a neutron and then how to add it and, and I have to know all the little body parts in the cell and how they connect with other cells and how molecules and, and I gotta remember this? I gotta know this shit? Oh my god. So I was like, oh my god, like having a little breakdown in class because on on my la in my lecture class on Thursday, it's from 6.30 to 9.20. So it's like almost a three hour class and my teacher's very like boom, 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 boom. He's trying to get things done. So he went through like two chapters in three hours and it's a lot of information. And I was like, I only read chapter two because I thought he said to only read chapter two or read the, uh, the, read the, um, the, uh, PowerPoint slides of chapter two. Don't read, don't read it in the book because there's only certain things that he wants us to know. So I only read that. I didn't read chapter three. So when he got into like other things like um, molecules and tissues and whatever else, I was like, mm. I kind of checked out at that point. I was just like, I'm gonna just like listen to what you guys say. I downloaded the, the PowerPoint slides that he had left on our on our um, blackboard, but I was just like, you go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a tutor for this because there's no way I can remember all this like. By myself then I thought about it and I was like okay Pierre you're an amazing time management person just break it down so I have he wants us to read chapter 4 by next class so I have a week I need to go over chapter 2 because I have not I know absolutely nothing about chapter well, not absolutely nothing I know I know that like I know that like pro uh, electron and a proton needs to be the same to cancel out and most of the time it will but sometimes like you will know how many protons are in a cell based off the number it is on the chart on the periodic table and the electrons i know some of it okay because i mean i was really good at science i had an a in chemistry I, all year and i had b's and biology all year so i was pretty good at science and i'm pretty sure i could remember it if i had to but it's like when you don't rem when you remember learn something a long time ago and then you have to re-remember it you kind of feel a little lazy because you're like i kind of know this but then you really don't know this <laughs> so you're like do i have to go over it because i kind of know it kind of but not really and like in the class i was asking questions like how do you know how many protons are in a cell and i felt so dumb because i'm like like, I haven't learned this in years. You don't carry around this information once you graduate and don't use it again. Like, you don't. So I was, and then he was like, uh, by the number of the cell, of the, of the, um, of the, um, element on the periodic table. And I was like, oh, right. I forgot about that. But everybody in the class was answering questions like, yeah, it's this and it's that. And it comes neutral. And da -da. I'm like, y'all must have been science majors. Y'all must have just came out of biology, just came out of chemistry. And that's why you remember all this stuff because I don't remember this stuff. Some of y'all must be freshmen and just came out of school or you guys are biology majors and you really took prerequisites for this last semester, okay? Because I don't remember any of this stuff. Luckily, my school took my chemistry and biology classes from high school as my prerequisites for this class because um, it hasn't been 10 years yet. Has it? No, it has been 10 years, but I don't know. They took it as a uh, prerequisite credit and because I had good grades. But I don't remember none of that stuff. Like, I don't. So we're going over chemistry and biology shit, and I'm just like, y'all, why? I, all summer, I've been learning about 
body positions, muscles, bones. I can tell you all the bones in the body. Like, I literally know all the bones in the body. I literally know half the muscles in the body because I'm still learning them now. I'm, I'm like constantly picking up a car every day and studying it for the day or picking up two cards for the day and studying them for the day. I literally can tell you all the bones in the body. I can literally tell you every ligament, what the ligaments do. I can literally tell you um, all about the skin, hair, nails. Like, there's certain things, like, all the other stuff that's important that we're gonna learn later in the semester, I remember. I know how to. I can tell you right now. I'm gonna get A's on that. But the cell, tissues, and biology slash chemistry aspect, I'm like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna need a tutor. So the tutor, we have tutoring, free tutoring at my college, which is nice. I was thinking I'm gonna make an appointment and get a tutor. And then I thought about it and I was like, look, try to do this on your own first, because if you try to get a tutor, you're gonna have to set time out to go to a tutor and go to school on a day that you don't have class or even after class and you're already burnt out, like you're gonna burn yourself out doing that. In your own time, kind of like how I did this summer where I like started, I picked up a, a card every day and learned the whole body system, all the freaking bones, that's so hard to do. And I'm learning all the muscles now and it's so hard to do that. I can pick up on my own chemistry, biology and cells and all that, whatever. Um, obviously all at once in one class is not gonna help me, but I feel like if I, so basically what I'm gonna do is I have six days to my next AP, or AP stands for anatomy and physiology, my next AP lecture class. So I have, I have uh, chapter two to go over, chapter three and chapter four. That's three chapters to do between, and memorize and learn between now and next Thursday, which is six days. So that means every two days I'm gonna focus on one subject. So between today's Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna focus on chapter two. Sunday and Monday, I'm gonna to focus on chapter three. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm gonna focus on chapter four. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna break it in half. So half of chapter I'm gonna learn today, half of the chapter I'm gonna learn tomorrow, and I'm gonna just make sure I learn it. And I can like move it back to myself, like repeat it back to myself, like I can, I understand it. That's what I'm gonna do after I got this video. But yeah, that's what, how I'm gonna like, that's the mindset you really gotta have for college. Like you really gotta like, really understand your time, manage it, make a plan, do it. <sighs> Don't get too overwhelmed. <laughs> like, take some drugs if you got to. Not drugs, I'm kidding. Take, like, I'm taking GABA, it's natural. I'm taking Grinko, it's natural to help me focus. So, yeah, and it really works because I, like I told you, like when I was doing my stats homework around 10 o'clock, I was starting to get like antsy, had been three hours, and I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Boyfriend said, here, take this. I was like, doing the homework like it was not nothing but i was able to literally do seven more hours worth of work without interruption literally all week i've been having moments where i'm like should i drop a class should i drop a class should i drop a class <laughs> like i'm literally have that moment like literally for the last like every day this week and i'm like wow i'm really my brain is just like <laughs> like my brain feels like it's like i'm talking hella fast i'm pretty sure you guys can tell i'm like all over the place because I'm just like there's a lot there's this 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 the Monday I have nutrition for the first time so that should be inter interesting and I'm also gonna be doing my stats homework I just organize it in a way where I'm like ahead of the game tomorrow oh, we have a, a project for my stats they want us to do a scientific experiment which I haven't done forever a scientific uh the, using this not necessarily using the scientific method but I use the scientific method because that's how you conduct an experiment and I'm trying to be professional and you know, cause they said, make sure it looks like a college student's work. I mean, I am in college, so it's been a, it's been a week. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep going. Um, I only have one more week to drop a class without it being a withdrawal. I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna challenge myself because I hear nursing school is a, I hear it's hard. I hear it's really, really hard, very challenging a lot of work and so I'm like you know what Pierre you better get used to it because you need to challenge yourself you might as well start now so when nursing school starts you kind of get you're already in the flow you already moving so that's kind of where I am guys so yeah I'll talk to you guys next week um, about what's going on at school and what I've been doing and all that um, I actually graduate from my program my, me my medical assistant program I think the first week of October. Yeah, I graduate the first week of October. So yay me. Everybody who's graduated so far in, um, in the last two weeks, they've all gotten jobs. Not all of them, but a lot of them have gotten jobs. Um, like, as soon as they apply, they get an interview. As soon as they interview, by 3 p.m., they have a job. 
boom so i'm hoping to be working by october and yeah like obviously at the beginning of a job is always gonna be stressful but at least i'll be making some real money okay <laughs> and so yeah um that's pretty much it and if i get in a good place they might even pay for my uh nursing school so for example when i say that so this girl in my class she got a job at one of the um hospitals that is associated with the call with a university that has an accelerated nursing program and i was like she wants to be a nurse too and i was like girl you got a job there oh my god you better you better get that money from that from that from that hospital to go to school so that you don't have to pay for school oh my god how amazing would that be so that's my thing like if i could get a job where they can pay for my school to be a nurse okay <laughs> less loans for me Ooh, girl so yeah anyway i hope this video was helpful and uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below and i will respond i may not respond right away because most of the time i read my comments like when i upload the next week to post so don't worry i will respond to you guys' comments just may not be right away so yeah because i do have another main channel that i'm on more than i am not the um, more than i am on this channel like as far as like being logged in so i don't always see your comments but i will see it the following week when i upload the following week so yeah i'll see you guys next week and yeah, have a great week. Bye.